Hey folks, Rob, Sheen Ranch Homestead, Jenny, the Jenny Donkey. Hey, I just wanted to make a quick video. Today we went up to Meadville, PA, to the auction house, and was just seeing what prices are going for. As you can see, I'm in with the sheep, and we were going to process some, but, you know, right now I just can't, so... I'm going to probably be selling them. Snowman, you're a freaking huge turd. He's blocking my way. But well, we went up there and I saw a Homesteaders Delight there today. I couldn't believe what I saw. I'm still kicking myself because I didn't go with the anticipation of buying anything. Um... He kills me to say running a homestead and I couldn't do this, but um, today I saw American guinea hogs sell for $2, $2 a pig by the head. And they were piglets approximately, I'd say born this summer. They were small enough, but then the mom and the dad came through and there were some other piglets that were a little bit bigger. And they sold for $8 a piece. I could have had a boar, a sow, and six feeders for like 50 bucks. I think, I think that's about what it was. 40 or 50 bucks. It kills me because I wasn't prepared for it. I don't want overwinter pigs, to be honest. I already got two that I'd probably go have to overwinter due to processing being packed. They're all staying back there. All the rams are with me, which I have too many rams. I'm going to go over the fence. Let's see if it gets me. Ugh, I don't move that well anymore. But yeah, it's killing me. So we went up there. First side of American guinea hogs comes in. I know they're American guinea hogs. They even announce they're American guinea hogs. And they usually don't. Because they're rare to see in an auction house, to be honest. Um, you don't really see Cooney Coonies either. And a lot of people will shun away from them because they think they're just pot bellies. And they're just junk meat. All fat, no big deal. And also because American guinea hog takes up to about two years to grow out. But we were there, I looked at Melody and we're like, you gotta be kidding me. She didn't know how I didn't raise my hand, but I wasn't going to. I'm like, I'm not putting them in the Explorer. I'd have to have someone haul them back. And I didn't have anyone online so to say to haul them back i have people that can haul for me but they had had to stay the night there but yeah it was crazy i mean it was a homesteader's delight to get a complete system in hand you would have your boar you would have your sow and you would have feeders to grow out I mean, the only thing you would have to do is maybe find someone to trade some piglets with to change up the bloodlines to maybe get another sow. Because that's probably what I would have gone with. Is keep the sow they had and the boar. Separate that boar. And then, uh, yeah. It's just kind of crazy. But that's about that. We didn't buy anything today. We weren't going to buy anything today. We were honestly just checking market prices. Um, we were kind of surprised of some of them, but we we're not surprised about the sheep. So maybe on Monday I'll take some sheep to the market. I'm not sure, but that's what happened today. I should have bought them. I could have resold them, but there's a homesteader out there that needs them, but not this homestead right now. All right, that's that. Hope you all have a good day. Remember, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you again.
Thanks.